dominion of Northeast India in the early 1800s was not an easy task for the British to further their interests as they had to come face to face with some of life-threatening diseases like cholera, malaria, diarrhea, gala azar or black fever and smallpox that had endangered the lives of the native people as well as the Europeans. These epidemics were costing the British dearly. Tea gardens in Assam, a booming business for the Europeans, were largely impacted as workers continued to succumb to these debt-dealing diseases. This prompted a few British tea garden owners to come forward and push for the establishment of a pasture institute in Shillong in 1915 to control diseases through the usage of a vaccine. In this episode of Shillong Iconic Structures, we are featuring the Directorate of Health Services Research, or as many would know it by its former name, the Pasture Institute Shillong. It is younger only to the Hafkin Institute Bombay, now Mumbai, the Central Research Institute Kasauli, and the Pasture Institute of Southern India, Kunur. Located at Pasture Hills just next to the Ganesh Das Hospital in Lamali, this institute is the oldest and the only one of its kind in the entire Northeast region. Never a day was its vicinity empty. The blaring sound of sirens and the daily rush of patients and attendants from one building to another hardly dampened the iconic site of its premises. The well-maintained lawn, the colourful sight of flowers, the fragrance emanating from the lilac jagaranda trees that are found abundantly on the premises and the vintage street lights in the garden accentuate the heritage look of this structure. Let's take a trip down memory lane. The establishment of the Pasture Institute in Shillong, the then capital of Assam province in 1915, was a result of the fear of the diseases that had consumed the British in the late 19th century. The tea industry in Assam suffered a massive blow with the spread of these epidemic maladies to the extent that no labourers from outside the region was willing to risk their lives to come and work in the tea gardens leading to a shortage of labour. Though the British had already set up biomedical research institutes in Mumbai, Kasauli and Kunur, communication and connectivity were a problem and vaccines were not delivered on time. This engendered the British to set up a separate pasture institute in the region. This paved way for the establishment of the Pasture Institute in Shillong, the then capital of Assam province, in 1915. The foundation stone was laid on November 4, 1915 by the then Chief Commissioner of Assam, Sir Archdale Earl. It was erected by public subscription in memory of Edward VII, who was the King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Emperor of India from 1901 to 1910. The construction of the main building was completed in early 1917 and Colonel R. Knowles was appointed the first ever director of Pasture Institute Shillong. Initially, this institute was under the Assam Medical Research Society, which was financed by annual contributions from traders, transporters and industrialists industrialists, donations and membership subscriptions. Later on, it was sustained through grants received from the Government of Assam and the Government of India through the Indian Research Fund Association and the Indian Tea Association. However, on August 1, 1945, the Assam Medical Research Society was dissolved, following which the Pasture Institute Shillong was affiliated to the Government of Assam till January 1972 when the institute was taken over and financed by the Government of Meghalaya. The institute has contributed to the purpose of controlling diseases through research and production of vaccines like the neural anti-rabies vaccines and cholera, typhoid and paratyphoid vaccines from the years 1917 to 2005 and 1920 to 1996 respectively. The production of these vaccines was stopped as per the directives from the government of India. In the days of yore, concurrent with the production of the anti-rabies vaccine, a total of 181 rabies treatment centres were set up across the Northeast, and the vaccines for all these centres were supplied by Pasture Institute Shillong. The institute became the nodal centre for providing expert advice concerning rabies. It also served as a central laboratory in the diagnostic field of various branches of pathology and investigative medicine for government and private hospitals and private practitioners of the region. The vaccines produced were also occasionally supplied to West Bengal and the neighbouring country of Bhutan and organisations like railways, oil companies, tea estates and military bases in the region. 
At present, the institute serves as a training and testing center. Some of its activities included maintenance of the blood bank known as the Regional Blood Bank, the oldest in the state, an anti-rabies outpatient department, general laboratories, combined food and drug testing labs, mainly bacteriological testing of water, canned food, glucose water and saline water used for injection, the Indian System of Medicines Lab and Animal House. What's interesting about this decades-old structure is its sturdy appearance. While the exterior looks more or less the same since the day it was built, except for minor repairs, the interiors have been modified a couple of times to accommodate the different laboratories, office space and collection cubicles. The infrastructure was improved and upgraded by the Meghalaya government in collaboration with the North Eastern Council in the 1970s and the early 1980s. It may interest you to know that the Central Sterile Services Department, also known as the CSSD room in the institute, still houses the vintage washing and sterilizing machines, though of course they are no longer functional. Did you know that apart from the vintage street lights that adorn the well-kept lawn, there is also an old red and black post box, arguably the oldest in the state, installed in the front yard? Are you aware that the establishment of the Pasture Institute led to the construction of the Earl Sanatorium, now known as Earl Holiday Home next to Siti Hathaba in Kandailat? The sanatorium project was prepared in 1918 to serve as a health resort for those looking to convalesce within the station. Over the years, the institute has been rechristened a couple of times. Initially, it was known as the King Edward VII Memorial Pasture Institute and Medical Research Institute, which was then later shortened to Pasture Institute Shillong. At present, it is known as the Directorate of Health Services Research, but of course, its previous name, Pasture Institute, is easier to call to mind and it still rings a bell with the people of Shillong. The 107-year-old journey of Pasture Institute was long but prolific as despite the looming threats of epidemics that endangered the lives of many, it has successfully managed to sail through a formidable weapon against killer diseases.